Hello, welcome to Cloud Learning Channel. In this module, we will learn how to load data from cloud storage into Cloud SQL instances, that is MySQL instance. Uh, how to load the, the data from cloud storage into MySQL table in Google Cloud Platform. So in this module, um, we will use uh, MySQL Workbench to create a database and uh, create a table. And uh, we have a file uh, that is already uploaded in the cloud storage, but if you don't have, you need to have a file that must exist in cloud storage, could be any file. So in this uh, module, we'll be using a CSV file. So we will load that uh, CSV file into MySQL table uh, using Google Cloud Console. So let me log into Google Cloud Console now. I logged into Google Cloud Console and uh, here uh, you can see that uh, my SQL instance is uh, up and running. So here you can see that uh, the configuration to CPUs and 3.75 GB and 100 uh, storage. And uh, here is the public IP address that uh, we use to connect from our local computer or any, any, any tool or any machine that we are using. So we must uh, use this public IP address to connect to this MySQL instance. So now we have a SQL server, uh, MySQL server up and running. So now let's verify if we have a file uh, available in uh, cloud storage. So let me go to cloud storage and here list of buckets. I have list of buckets available. So the data must be there. But before that, uh, let me tell you how we load data from this cloud storage into MySQL table. So I, I will go to my, I will open a MySQL workbench. And uh, let me quickly create a database uh, in this. And uh, again, if you want to know how to connect to this uh, MySQL instance, uh, Google Cloud MySQL instance, and please go to my previous videos there I explain how we can connect using MySQL Workbench. So we need to establish uh, the, the connection setup so that earlier module uh, can explain you uh, how you can set up your connection details and connect to your uh, Cloud SQL MySQL instance. So I already established the connection. So now I already connected to the, the server. So now I'm creating a database. But again, if you want to create a database, you can use uh, you can use this option. Either you can use this create database option. Here you can click create database, or also you can use a MySQL Workbench tool to create a database. Now I will create a database called MySQL DB. So the database is created here. You can see that create database, MySQL DB. So now I will use this database. Let me say MySQL DB. I will use uh, this database in this session. So I will execute this command. So now I will create a table. So let me create a table. So before I create a table, so let me explain you what we need to do. So go back to your cloud storage and uh, go to bucket. And uh, here I have a CSV file existing in this diamond bucket. Now I will go here. So here I have a CSV file exist already. So let me open this file so that you can see what data we have. So let me just um, click on this or you can also click on download. So here is the, the CSV file. Let me open the CSV file, what I have in the CSV file. So this is the CSV file that I'm going to load into MySQL table. And uh, here we have a list of attributes available. That is ID, carrot, cut, the color, clarity, depth, and the price, all this. So now uh, we need to create a table in MySQL to load this data. So the table must exist there if we want to load this CSV file into the table. So now let me go back to my, my MySQL workbench. And now I will create a table. So I will call a table name as a diamond. So now I have a table here. So I'm going to create this table. And uh, I mentioned all the attributes here, ID carrot and a cut color. And let me just say table X. And the table is uh, the keyword. So that just to make sure I enter uh, some name. 
So, and now I have a list of attributes available in this table. Uh, I can create this table now. Let me see. So the table is created and here you can see that uh, so the success message and all the list of attributes created. Now, let me query against this table and see if I have a data available or not. So it must be empty because we just created this table and I don't expect any data. So let me just uh, execute this query. So right now, zero records exist in this table. Now, how do we load uh, this um, CSV file into this MySQL table? So I will perform this operation using Google Cloud Console. Now I will go back to Google Cloud and I will go to my SQL instance page. So here we have an import um, option here. So now I will use uh, this import option. Now I will click on this import. So now I need to enter my source name. So now let me uh, go to my bucket. That is our cloud storage. And again, if you want to load any CSV file into the, the MySQL instance, so you must upload that file into your cloud storage. So now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I have the CSV file exist in this diamond bucket. And here I have the file um, available in this bucket. So I will select that file and uh, click on select. And the file format, what format that the file has. So again, like, you know, this is the file we're going to load and how many records we have. So we have about a uh, thousand records. So now I will select the file format as CSV. Now I need to select the database. So I have a couple of databases available. Then I will select MySQL database. Now I must enter the, the table name. Here you can see that enter the name of an existing table in the database to house your CSV file. So now I want to load my CSV file into this diamonds table. I will just say the table name, the diamond. Now let's, uh, load this data into the table so here we can see that uh, the notification we just got it importing from the the, the csv file diamond csv file into instance uh, mysql that is my mysql uh, server name in the google cloud platform so once this is successful uh, we should be able to see it so we just got an error let me just look at it so mysqldp.diamonds doesn't exist. So let me just look at this error. Okay, so here we created table name as a diamond, but uh, in the import option, I mentioned uh, uh, diamond. So let me just click this and let me initiate the import one more time. Let me just uh, quickly select the CSV file again here, and then uh, select the format and select the database and enter the name is very careful. So we must match the, the table name here to load our data into our MySQL table. So now let me import it again. So it doesn't take long. So here we can see that importing from diamond CSV to instant MySQL 01. I think it just take like, you know, a couple of minutes. So we must be able to see the data uh, in our MySQL table, in our MySQL table uh, very soon. So now we got the successful message, so it is imported. Now let's go back to our uh, MySQL workbench and uh, let's check like, you know, if we have data available or not. So now let me run the query again, select start from diamond. So now I have data available here. So that means we successfully loaded a file from cloud storage into cloud SQL MySQL instance table uh, without facing any errors on the second turn. Earlier I mentioned at diamonds, that is not what we created. Our table name is diamond. So that's why we reinitiate that uh, import and uh, establish the source again and uh, mention the table name. So that's why the, we got the successful message that we were successful, successfully able to load the data into this uh, diamond table. Now let's make sure that we have um, uh, all records loaded uh, in this table. All records are 
uh, loaded from that CSV file from that CSV file into this uh, diamond table. Let me just quickly check how many records exist here. So let count start from the table. So now we have thousand one records. Remember when uh, let's go and uh, open the CSV file. So we have thousand records available. So and we created like you know a thousand records so the all the records are loaded into this table and let me quickly review what we did in this session so this session uh what we did we loaded a file into cloud storage that um, i didn't load it but if you want to know how to uh, create the cloud storage and how do you, how to create a bucket then please go to my uh, previous videos that explains you how you can uh, deploy a bucket uh, how you how you can deploy cloud storage cloud storage service in google cloud platform and how you can create a bucket and how to load for files into cloud storage so in this uh, in this module we already uh, have a file in our cloud storage and, but we didn't have a table exist. So I created a table using MySQL workbench and uh, I initiated uh, the, the load, the, I initiated uh, the, the, the process from Google Cloud Console. Here I used the import option to load that CSV file into MySQL table. So if you have any questions about loading this CSV file or uh, loading file from cloud storage into MySQL table, then please post all your questions in the comment section with your errors or any other questions you have about MySQL instance. Please post them and I will try to reply as soon as possible. And uh, if you have any questions about any Google Cloud services, uh, Cloud SQL, or BigQuery, or Cloud Storage, so I'm very happy to help you guys to deploy or uh, to load your data or to uh, configure your how to uh, like you know configure your network like you know securely configure and how you can restrict like you know uh, unknown uh, uh, people to access your instances. So I can help with uh, i can help you with all that so but uh, please do not hesitate state to post all your questions in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and share the channel thanks for watching thank you